What up, folks? Once again, it's your boy, Tim. With all of the mass casualty events happening in the news all over this country, whether it's in supermarkets, subways, or elementary schools, what is the first thing that a large portion of America starts talking about? Taking away our right to bear arms. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And with the moment someone talks about uh, repealing the Second Amendment, infringing on our rights to bear arms, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Tyranny. And what do we think about? The horrible actors of the past, the bad actors of the past. Who comes to mind? Saddam Hussein, rising against his own people. Joseph R. Stalin, probably responsible for more deaths in human history than any other single person. And of course, the funny mustache guy. And obviously what happened with the Jewish people that were in Germany at the time. So, how do we prevent that from happening in this nation? What did the founding fathers give us to protect ourselves? Guns. That is the great equalizer that allows the average citizen, the low man on the totem pole, to fight against tyranny should that take place in our nation. However, what do we see folks preaching out against? Taking away our guns. In regards to tyranny, in regards to a invasion on U.S. soil. We have the largest standing army in the United States, and we want to keep it that way. That is the popular opinion in this country. Having firearms protects us against tyranny. So, does that reign true, or is that some type of pipe dream? That's what you're hearing coming from the left, and obviously the right defends it. So, I'm going to start out by asking you, do you recognize this woman? Maybe, maybe not. How about now? The woman is Susan B. Anthony. She's known for fighting for the right to vote. That happened in the early 1900s. Now keep in mind, we've had the Second Amendment since the very beginning. But yet here's Susan B. Anthony fighting for the right to vote for women in the early 1900s. Not being allowed to vote. Might someone consider that as tyranny? Well, what about these people? Obviously, those folks were armed when we first arrived here. When the settlers first arrived in this country, they were already armed. How did that turn out? Did that give them the right to fight against tyranny? How did that turn out? Well, in addition to that, we obviously know these folks were never allowed to carry firearms. There's no denying that, but these folks were, and so was he. And once again, just like with the last crowd, we have to wonder, how did that turn out? So the only point that I guess we'd be trying to make here is that when you think about tyranny and you think about these guys and these guys and folks like him, you have to wonder, considering how our nation was ran at the time, should it include folks like these? You look at the Second Amendment, the the date our nation was founded, 1776, I wear it on the patch here, and you look at the individuals that were just mentioned in this video, and you realize that they lived and existed in a country that was rife with tyranny for hundreds of years. Obviously, with Susan B. Anthony and women acquiring the right to vote, that didn't take place until the 1900s. The Second Amendment was in place the entire time. How did women do in terms of fighting against tyranny? It clearly existed while they had Second Amendment rights. Same thing with the Native Americans. They're still marginalized, some might argue. They have the right to bear arms. They have the right to defend against tyranny. How's that working out for them? And of course, with African Americans and others. So the only point I guess I would be trying to make here is that I understand the notion that having a firearm gives you a fighting chance to fight against tyranny. But the notion that it cannot happen, that it won't happen, and you would be able to stop it in a country where everyone is allowed to be armed has been disproven by the country that believes it works. We have lived in a tyrannical nation for most of our country's history. And there's no denying that the proof exists to show it that way. So just wanted to bring this video to you. I would love to hear your comments. Tell me where I got it wrong. 
Tell me, do you believe since the founding fathers, since day one, since we had Second Amendment rights, have we been preventing tyranny from happening in this country? Or might you agree with your humble correspondent, yours truly, in stating that we have been tyrannical the entire time? I'll catch you guys later.